Next up in the FIC 59 lineup, we have Ines Naziri. She, of course, is amazing. New Wave winner, Golden Stag winner, performed at the Selectia Nationale Interval. She's been in Festival Kungis. She's been in Kungo Magic. She just slays across all contests at all times. She's got the voice of an angel, the voice of, I know there's like the angel, yes, but Mariah or Whitney is underneath the power. Her song here is Pindesa, which means penance, somebody did wrong and is making up for it, hitting pale. She's like this. Oh my god. I'm like this. Her voice just grips me every time. Mm. She's very comfortable in this deep register. It feels like she's oh, telling wow. me a story. Mm. I just love her. And I can feel like this is building up into a power ballad, you know? Something big is gonna just come from this. Oh, something big is coming, you can tell, girl. I know you're taking me there. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Cinematic. I feel like I'm in a movie. Okay. Pocahontas, Mulan, Ines Naziri. She belongs in the pantheon of great animated song characters. But she's real. Wow. She is very real. Wow. Mmm. This is going to appeal to people across age groups, across age, across demographics. Erasing the shadows of despair, oh, telling me to keep moving. This is not just a power ballad, this is a motivational song. Very impactful. Oh, nice little mix up there with the lyrics. And the chorus is back. This is more modern wow. than I think some of her entries in the past were. She's really working 2020, 2021. This has a classic ballad vibe, and yet it is up to date for now. I feel like it's, it's only a matter of time before done. we see Ines Naziri at Eurovision. Mm. I feel like every year, either through New Wave, or Kenga Magic, or Festival of Kungis, she is showing the Ooh. world the strength she has. Yes. Wow. Oh my god. And this will only be better Love live. This. She's an artist who actually does better live than she does in studio. This is so Killer. powerful. R pulls it back. Oh, I'm so impressed with this. Softer tones. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Oh, fill it out with just that vocal. Wow, yeah. This is very interesting. It's got texture, wow. it's got layer. It's less cliche than the typical ballad you come to expect at a competition like Vic. Mmm, very well-rounded. You know what? Made life never leave me without a power vocal to help me through the day. Ines Naziri is beyond amazing. She doesn't write her own songs, but she tells the story through her own voice. I like that. She hits the big note, but then she pairs it back, pulls it back. There is a soft, sensitive side to all of that. That was, emotion guides that as much as the voice, right? Like you hear the big notes, you know, you, you see it building and swelling, but it's also the feeling she's putting into each note. It just feels very sincere at the end of the day. It doesn't feel like a mass production. It feels like a woman singing a beautiful song. Wow. Girl, this deserves to be in Eurovision. And I predict, based on what we heard in Eurovision 2020, this is a top 10 finish with ease. I mean, Jessica Anderson behind me, that's right. She's like, wow. And I, I, I'm adopting that posture. Wow. That, you go, girl.